Good, my beautiful Tauruses. Trust your spirit guides and your intuition for guiding you to this particular waxing gibbous reading for Scorpio. So this, the moon is moving through Scorpio at this time. Waxing gibbouses come right before full moon. So energy is at an all time high. Scorpio rules the reproductive region. So don't be surprised if you're feeling a little horny at this time. By the way, this reading is covering May 31st through June 2nd. And Scorpio is also all about death, rebirth, major transformation. So as we move in this moon phase, there's going to be a lot of shifts going on. So let's see what the forecast is for you, Taurus, how that's going to kind of manifest in your life. So let's get some clarity here through these cards. Let's see what is going on for Taurus with the waxing gibbous and Scorpio. What does Taurus need to know? What's the forecast for Taurus for the waxing gibbous? Quantum jump. This is funny. Um, Aries actually just got this quantum jump and transformation. Interesting. Okay. So there's big transformations happening. Like I just said with this Scorpio moon, big quantum leaps, transformations. I feel like the life you're living, um, you know, I said this is covering the 31st through June 2nd. The life you're leading up until June 2nd, after June 3rd, the full moon, it's not going to look the same. It's going to be completely different. I'm getting like a whole new energy, like you're being rebirthed because this kind of looks like phoenix wings, like from the ashes rises the phoenix. So I feel like there's this energy of like you're leaving something dead behind and like something new is completely coming into place. Give me more for Taurus with the wax and give us some Scorpio. What does Taurus need to know? Tell me more about this quantum leap for Taurus. Okay, we got two. We have the letter, message, communication, and news. And it says beware. And then we have the garden, community, culture, and teamwork. It feels like you're moving with multiple people. 27 and 20. It feels like you're... This could even be like on this grave, like, hey, like, you know, when people leave a message, like, hey, went out to lunch or like they step out and they leave a message for somebody. I feel like you're doing that. Like I was here, right? Someone's going to come to the garden and realize that you're not there anymore. And I'm noticing this energy of skulls, right? It's like something is deaded. Something is done. And there's a lot of butterflies. These cards look very similar, actually. It looks like the same place from like different angles. So I feel, and it could even be that, like maybe it's not going to be like a crazy big physical manifestation of you moving or something, but it's, it's like your inner world is changing so much that you're not going to see the outer world in the same way, Taurus. All right, let's get more for Taurus. Clear energy for Taurus. What is it that Taurus needs to see? Oh my goodness. What does Taurus need to see? clearest energy you have for Taurus. Tell me about this quantum leap. Waxing abyss and Scorpio for Taurus. What's going on? The ace of wands. There's definitely something new coming. Adventure, creative spark, new beginning. Of course, if you're quantum leaping, there's always going to be a new beginning. The Ten of Pentacles. I love to see this. Health, wealth, prosperity energy. Give me more for Taurus. Tell me about this energy. There's definitely like a glow up, I see. Like especially in terms of your money. And you're not letting certain people end with the Nine of Wands and um upright, I should say. Nine of Wands, this is Sag energy. It's like putting up barriers. Like only, only the strong shall pass type of energy. Eight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. You're really working hard on something. Three of Wands on creating a new reality. This is like creating a new reality for yourself, Taurus. And I feel like there's an energy where it's like if you don't meet like the height requirement, so to speak, you're not making it through. So I feel like this is a new reality where you're only allowing the most abundant of the abundant people. Yeah, you're releasing some people here. You're letting some people go playful and you're only accepting in the most playful energy. This feels like I'm here to have fun. I'm here to play. And if you're not with that, then you're not with me. 
Give me something for Taurus through the charms for the Wax and Gibbous and Scorpio. What do they need to see? I love it. So we have the colorful rainbow heart coming out. This could be LGBTQ energy for some people, like really putting yourself out there, like coming out of the closet completely, only letting the best people in. And this could also, for others of you, if you don't resonate with that, this could be an energy of like, the rainbow comes after the rain, like the good comes after going through some things. So I feel like you're really, really focused on good energy right now, Taurus. Let's see what else is coming through for you and true for you with these astrodites. What the most likely outcome is for the waxing of us in Scorpio for you. We have the moon in Libra. The moon is all about our emotions, intuition. Libra is all about balancing that energy out, which makes sense with that quantum jump energy. This is all about balance and alignment. Fifth house is all about the heart and love and play. I feel like you're just... This is like literally the ultimate enjoying life reading. Like if you're not going to be around people that are not thoroughly enjoying life, bye, like you don't have time for it, Taurus. This is like quantum leaping into your highest reality. And I love to see it so much. It's like, you're gonna be so happy after this. So stick with this energy. I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, I will catch you later in another moon phase reading very soon.